Here at Contact CI, we make a multi-force ergonomic glove used for haptic interaction with hand tracking applications. We innovate on VR haptic feedback systems. There's lots of players in the market, but I think we have an edge and we're working on some cutting edge stuff. Contact CI creates virtual reality interfaces that are focused on being multi-force and ergonomic in their approach so that we can truly extend your hand's sense of touch and, and functionally now reach into that VR, AR world. We take what we learn about interaction and virtual reality, especially through touch, and instead of just, you know, sending out the research, we act upon it and create our own hardware to simulate touch and create a better, actually, on hands experience within virtual reality. We bring hands into VR. We are creating a product that will make a huge difference in the way people experience learning through VR and AR um, and expanding their sense of touch is becoming a huge influential part of this side of new te emerging technology. Right now I think you know we're limited to controllers that we have to hold in our hands and our hands are the most like intuitive natural tool that we have so what Contact AI does is enables people to use their range of motion as naturally as possible by bringing physical hands to be the controllers inside of of VR. The excitement around VR and haptics seems to grow every year when we bring people in for demos and people try this headset on, the reactions we get just give you more and more reason to want to come in and make this product as best as possible because you know that when people put it on it's going to be you know badass experience and, and that's what we do. I definitely think being able to actually use your hands and interact with other people is more aligned with how people actually interact with each other in real life. I definitely think we're getting somewhere. We do a lot with you know, enterprise and government training, and so in that, they are training for environments that are either expensive or dangerous to train in the real world for. So in using our devices, they can pretty much press uh, replay and run through so many scenarios and be much better prepared for that active scenario and hopefully safer for themselves and those around them. We, we take VR that extra step. You know, the whole notion of virtual reality is building the baseline of building other realities, uh, sense of touch is hugely important there. It's, it's how we interact and experience things around us in everyday life. And If you're trying to build a virtual reality, you can't not have touch. It's <laughs> crucial to virtual reality to be uh, what people envision it being, especially in that like lofty, futuristic way of thinking about it, uh, touch has to be there. And getting it right and getting it intuitive and accessible and ergonomic is, is hugely important. I think we've accomplished a lot so far since starting as undergrads at Syracuse University to, to being able to reach major milestones like delivering simulation trainings for things like the U.S. Air Force or Cincinnati Children's Hospital or being able to make an impact just in our community here in Cincinnati. But we've got a long way to go and I think we'll continue to be doing a lot more exciting stuff. It's early days yet, um, but that doesn't mean we can't be excited and proud about what we're doing. This company does really stand for values that are built for longevity and I think that we're going to stick around for a very long time and a lot of really good people are going to relate to what we do and to who we are as a company and that I think long term it's, it's something that I will always be proud of. Haptics is going to be the future of VR. At some point we'll get the technology to a place where it really feels seamless in a VR space. And the work we're doing now is going to be foundational for that in the future. We are entering a whole new era of what it means to have an experience. And as this technology continues to improve, form factor drops lower and lower, fidelity of the experiences goes higher and higher, I imagine a time where it will be difficult to discern the differences between a typical sensory perception, normal reality experience, and an emulated or recreated virtual reality or augmented reality experience. And when those days come, I think it's going to revolutionize what it means to have a life. I think it's going to revolutionize what it means to be human. And there's nothing more exciting than that.